welcome back everybody. Today we're going to get into an informational video on the front sight block. So uh, the F marked and non F marked front sight block. So I guess we'll go back in history and uh, just talk about how it came about. So the early M16 models had the uh, upper receiver with the integral carry handle. So there was no provision for mounting op optics outside of mounting it on the carry handle, which has a whole set of problems. So uh, eventually they went with the detachable carry handle uh, and the, the T-marked upper receiver as we know it today with the 1913 style rails. So uh, basically Colt is the one that had to do it. So Colt at the time was sort of debating how they were gonna uh, increase the strength of the upper receiver. Because if you think about how the old uh, M16s are, if they just cut the uh, upper receiver right there, where the, the carry handle met the upper receiver, it would be a, a weak point of the upper receiver design. So they had to sort of beef it up a little bit. And what they did was they raised the upper receiver just a touch. Um, they obviously added the carry handle on there. And then with the carry handle that Colt went with, it was the same height as the original one. So what that did was it bumped the rear sight up a bit. To compensate, instead of just reducing the height of the removable carry handle, Colt decided to raise the height of the front sight block creating what we now call the F mark front sight block. So that's sort of the history of it, why it happened, and uh, where it all comes from. Now I'm gonna roll in some pictures of the uh, standard F mark front sight block and the non F mark front sight block. Now a lot of these pictures that I'm gonna be rolling in here are gonna come from a gentleman named Milan or Malone, however you wanna say it, over on uh, M4 Carbine, the forum. He does a lot of really good posts, good pictures, and uh, good documentation of shooting sessions and stuff like that and accuracy testing. So good guy to read his threads if you're looking for something to reference. Now, um, as you can see, when you look at these two uh, front sight blocks, they're really not any different overall in terms of size. The difference is going to be the shelf where the actual uh, front sight post comes out of. So that's really where your difference is in your F and non-F marked uh, front sight blocks. So how do they compensate for that? Well, Colt over the years has made several different front sight posts. I think there's four Colt ones and then Bushmaster as well made some for military contracts, which we'll show you here in a second as well. Um, so Colt made different heights, different shapes and stuff like that for different types of rifles that they've made over the years. Now they, they along with Bushmaster have made different height ones as well. So the reason they did that is if you had the non F marked uh, front sight post or front sight block, I should say, um, the longer one will compensate for the height difference. So I'm going to show you a picture right here of my Colt 6920, which is zeroed for a 50 meter zero, 50 or 200 meter zero, however you want to say it. Um, you can see the front sight post looks very normal. I'm also going to roll in right now the uh, lightweight carbine, the Colt lightweight carbine, which does not have the F marked uh, front sight block. You can see the post is a little bit different height, but it still zeroes just fine. So why do people say that there's a problem? Well, um, at times there has been a problem. Uh, some rifles, which are just on the outside tolerances of specs that don't have a F mark front sight, uh, front sight block and have the flat top upper receiver, um, some folks have had trouble zeroing them. Now, this is an extremely rare instance because if you think about it, um, the way it actually works, if you count clicks in the difference of, what is it, 0 0.04, um, the difference in, in height, that equates to about six clicks if you have one of the, um, excuse me, one of the front sight posts with uh, four different click points. So I know they made the one with a five, which we showed you earlier, but most of them have four. So if you have one with four, that 0 0.04 difference in height is six clicks. So most folks will never get anywhere near that uh, outside range of the adjustments on their uh, front sight post. So the odds of it actually being a problem are very slim. That said, if it is a problem, Bushmaster, I checked online today at Brownells and the Bushmaster extended one, our higher height one, was $6. So it's a really easy remedy should you ever run into an issue with it, but the majority of times when people are saying that it's not zeroing, my guess is they're probably not zeroing it correctly in all reality, because I have several rifles that have never, uh, that have the non F mark front sights and have never had an issue. So that's just kind of my take on it. And that's the difference between the different front sight posts, the different front sight blocks and all that stuff. So now next time you're on a forum and you hear people debating it and going back and forth, you'll know what they're talking about. Now that's in terms of actual function, which is what I covered. A lot of people get really worked up about correctness of the F marked uh, front sight block. And the reality is Colt has made so many different rifles over the years, uh, both military and civilian versions that, you know, yes, there are correct front sight blocks for a specific model 
under a specific contract or something like that. Yes, that exists. Um, but there's a lot of variants out there and, you know, mil spec rifles have been issued with both over the years. So I don't really know that one is right and one is wrong per se in terms of function. They may be if you're looking for a specific like clone build or something like that. So that's really about it. If you're worried about that, then definitely do the research and, you know, you can check in which one's right for what you're looking for. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's the skinny uh, front sight blocks, front sight posts and all that stuff. So now you know. Uh, the next time you ever hear it being debated. If you guys have any questions about that, I'll post a link to uh, Malone's uh, threads over there so you guys can check out his stuff for all the details. You can also post below in the comment section. As always, you can post over at my Facebook page if you have initial questions. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.